Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how I made this shirt using Cricut brand holographic iron-on vinyl. This was my first time using holographic iron-on vinyl, and I am just so excited about how shiny and fun it is. The phrase on the shirt, friggin' right, peach cobbler, is something that my father-in-law said one time. We thought it was hilarious and have quoted it ever since. So I made that shirt for him as a birthday gift. Look at that face. He loves it. The t-shirt is just a basic shirt from Walmart, and then I cut the vinyl out with my Cricut and ironed it on. I don't have a fancy easy press or heat press of any kind. I actually just used a household iron. So that's what you'll see in this video, but you can also do this with a heat press or an easy press if you have one of those. Let's do it. I created the design for this shirt in Canva, which is a free online platform. It's super user-friendly, and I highly recommend it if you're looking to create your own designs. I saved it as a PNG file and then I uploaded it to Cricut Design Space. To clean up the file, I selected Simple Design and then clicked all of the background bits to remove them. Make sure you don't miss any of the gaps in your letters. You can hit Preview Cut Image in the top right corner to make sure you haven't missed anything. And as you can see, I missed the little slit in the tongue on the letter L, so I just went back and removed that and now it's good to go. Select cut image and then upload it to your canvas. Then you need to resize your image to whatever size you want for your shirt. I used a measuring tape to measure the space on my shirt and decided 10 inches wide was a good size for this design. So I entered 10 inches in the toolbar at the top and now my design is ready to make. Hit make it in the top right corner and it will bring you to the matte preview. A very important step whenever you're using heat transfer vinyl is to turn on the mirror toggle in the left toolbar, which will flip your design. This is because we will be cutting on the underside of the design that will be laid flat against the shirt when we iron it on. Hit continue, connect your machine, and then you wanna set your base material to holographic iron-on vinyl. I usually go with more pressure to get a nice clean cut. Make sure your fine point blade is loaded into your machine and then you're ready to go. I found this Cricut brand holographic iron-on vinyl at Walmart. It's called the Berry Sorbet Sampler Pack. The video doesn't really give a true visual of the colors, but there's a white sheet that is opalescent and reflects pinky blue tones, a deeper pink color that reflects purpley orange tones, and an orangey yellow one, which is what I'm using on the shirt. Always apply your iron-on vinyl shiny side down to the cutting mat. The shiny side is the carrier sheet that you will put your iron or heat press on top of, and we don't want to cut into that. We want to cut from the underside where the actual vinyl is, which is again why we mirrored the design. I applied my whole 12 by 12 inch sheet of vinyl to the cutting mat, loaded it into the machine, and started the cut. Once the cut was done, I used my blade tool to cut off the section at the bottom that was not a part of the design, and I saved it for a future project. Now it's time to weed the design. I love weeding heat transfer vinyl. I find it so much easier than weeding regular vinyl, and it's very satisfying. Again, don't forget the little gaps inside the letters. Once you've removed anything that's not part of the design, you're ready to transfer it onto your shirt. Cricut has a heat guide on their website that gives you heat transfer instructions for whatever it is you're using. I've linked it in the description. I'm using a household iron, so I just use these instructions as guidelines, but my iron doesn't actually tell me what temperature it's at, so I just estimate and hope for the best. No disasters so far. I have this heat press mat I got on Amazon. It's not the Cricut brand one, it's a cheaper one by a different brand, and it works great. I've linked that in the description as well. Cricut doesn't recommend using an ironing board as a surface to iron on, and before I got this mat, I used to use a regular bath towel and it worked just fine. I've got my heat mat inside the shirt under the space where I want to put my design. The instructions say to preheat the fabric, so that's what I'm doing with my iron here. You just want it to be warm before you place your design on it. Then you can line up your design wherever you want it. Sometimes I fold the shirt in half and put a crease in it to mark the middle. But for this one, I just used the printed tag inside the shirt as a guide for where the middle is and I eyeballed where to put it. Then I placed my iron down on one side of the design with light pressure and held it there for 30 seconds and slowly moved across the design doing this in each section. Then I did one final smooth out all over to make sure nothing was missed. 
Next, I flipped the shirt inside out and ironed from the back side for another 15 seconds. The instructions say to do a cool removal, so you just want to wait until everything feels cool to the touch, and then you can slowly peel back your carrier sheet. The shirt I used for this is pretty stretchy, it's actually 5% spandex, so I did have some trouble peeling my carrier sheet because the fabric wanted to stretch with me. Generally, you should avoid putting heat transfer vinyl on any sort of stretchy material because it can't really stretch with the fabric unless you get the special Sportflex vinyl that is specifically made for that. I didn't realize that this shirt had stretch when I bought it, but in the end it still turned out, I just wouldn't recommend it for a project like this. If anything is peeling up with the carrier sheet as you're removing it, you can go back over it with your iron or heat press to make sure it's fully transferred. I didn't have any issues with that this time, but it tends to happen with designs that have a lot of tiny details in them. And that's it! Cricut says that this should last for up to 50 washes or more, and recommends washing inside out. I was really impressed with the final product. The holographic vinyl is really cool and I'll definitely be making more projects with it in the future. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next. See you later.